Hello my quilting friends! My name is Leah Day and in this video I am testing out my frame weight. So right now I am quilting along my free motion quilting practice panel and I am not using the frame weight. I am trying to stay right on that marked line and form these loops. Now loops are one of those designs where it's almost easier to, to go fast you know and smooth so this might be a design that you simply stitch better without marks, that you just freehand it uh, and you don't try and quilt on a marked line. But quilting on a marked line is an important skill to build. It is something really nice to be able to do if you want to mark, let's say, something like feathers on your quilt and be able to quilt those feathers precisely. It's a really good skill. So whether we're stitching loops or feathers or anything, being able to follow that line is really important. So here we go. You can see I'm a little wobbly. I'm not staying exactly on the line. However, I have done some warm up already today. I have done some quilting already. So I can definitely say that my stitching is better than it was when I first got started this morning. Now let's do some freehand loops. And you can see I've sped up and because I'm going faster and I'm using a nice fluid range of mo movement with my hands, I think the design is looking better. So loops are definitely one of those things you may not need to mark it. You may just need to freehand this particular design. All right, I'm gonna stitch to the end here. I'm gonna get back to the beginning. I'm gonna add my frame weight and we're gonna see the difference that it makes. So here is the weight I've added to the frame. Uh, I sewed this in the last video. So if you'd like to learn how to make one for yourself and fill it full of rice, definitely check that out. Now I am tucking it here to this back rail, but I've gotten a lot of questions about it reducing space. You know, we have that limited amount of space to quilt in on a hoop frame, especially when we're using a home sewing machine. And I don't want you to think that you have to have this on your frame or that it has to go in a specific space. You could put it to the front. If you want to be able to quilt, you know, a, a nice wide area, then you could put it to the front here. You can put it to the back and kind of tuck it right up against that back rail. I did not find that that reduced my space significantly. Uh, I do plan on sewing another one and filling it full of BBs and just seeing how that works uh, with a thinner tube. So understand lots of different options here, but I can, hmm, I can definitely tell I've got a little bit extra resistance and I'm also stitching a little slower. Let's stitch a little faster, but still try and stay on that line. And you know, it, a design like this, I think this is, this might just simply be a bad test as far as loops being one of those designs that's just simply easier to quilt freehand. A really good test would be something like circles or feathers because circles and feathers are both designs that really require precision. And they're gonna tell you, or, or pivoting like a Paisley or Heart Paisley, those are gonna be designs that really tell you if you are seeing an improvement from that frame weight. But actually now that I've gotten started and really flowing with it, I can see an improvement. I am able to stay on that line and I'm able to flow with it just a little bit better. When I don't have the frame weight, now that I'm kind of getting used to using it, my machine feels out of control. Like I have just too much freedom. I can roll it too easily and it's harder to maintain a nice controlled stitch. Now again, I'm just flowing with this. This is just my freehand loops. I'm not going too fast for my stitch regulator yet. I'm just trying to create a nice consistent loopy line and I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Now the real test is going to be we're going to stitch back over this and we're going to try and turn those loops into heart paisley. Now this ended up kind of it was flopping off the edge of the quilt and that was creating too much resistance. So watch out for that. You know, any tool can be a problem if it's misused. So watch out for your frame weight flopping off the edges of your quilt. Now let's stitch. We're going to echo. We're going to try and hit that point. We're going to go in and create some paisley shapes. Pivot, echo. Bounce. Pivot, 
pivot. I like that. I think that's really good practice for hitting exact points. I think that's really good practice for control and precision of stitching. And yeah, it's a, it's a fun design. I think it's gonna look nice on our free motion quilting practice panel too. Is my stitching perfect? No, that's not quite the point. Practice is practice. We wanna get all of our mistakes out in the practice so that way we can have our beautiful looking stitches in the real thing, in the real quill, right? So again, I'm flowing out, trying to kind of bounce and hit that point to create that uh, nice teardrop effect. Paisley is basically just a teardrop shape that you echo, you pivot and echo. This time I'm going with internal echoes. And every time I come back and hit that exact point, I'm, I'm getting practice. I'm getting practice for that echoing. I'm getting practice for getting more control over the frame, figuring out how much force do I actually need to use? Do I have a death grip on my handles? If I do, let it up, you know? This really takes very light pressure with my fingertips. I'm no longer trying to muscle the quilt through the arm of my machine. So this takes very light pressure, very little resistance, but I find if I am gripping and I am clenching all my muscles, then I really can't quilt nicely. Now let's take the frame weight away and see what happens. I'm just gonna remove this, drop it on the floor, and let's see if I can even stitch with that level of precision and control. So I can hit that point, but my echoing really isn't as nice. There we go. I think there is definitely a lot to be said for warming up. I did a lot of stitching this morning. I'm not stitching cold and that really helps too. So yeah, all around the machine feels like I've got more play. And so I'm feeling like I have to uh, grip it harder. And so I'm getting that tension in my arms and my fingers but I know that I don't need to do that. I just need to let the machine flow. Now I just ran out of bobbin thread. Overall, I feel better when I'm stitching with the frame weight. I like the feel of it, but it's entirely up to you what you wanna use if you wanna bother stitching one or not. I definitely saw an improvement myself in my stitches and I can't wait to play with this more. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot and you're excited about giving this design a try. You can find this free motion quilting starter panel in our free motion quilting starter kit. Come and pick it up at leahday.com slash FMQ start. Until next time, let's go quilt.